Hey guys, today we will be we will be reviewing Mag MacTech Optimus Prime. And well, uh, this is the only other MacTech figure I currently have. How besides Bomb will be, which I've all, all already reviewed. Go check it out. But anyways, yeah, today we are we are reviewing Ma MacTech Prime. So uh, let's get into it. Now, I've seen, you know, this design of Prime is obviously, you know, from... It's kind of like between that Dark, the Moon, and Revenge of the Fallen design with how it is. And apparently here, about well, the shoulders, apparently, like, it's, 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 it's like those shoulder pylons he had in the movie, but... Uh, but, like, if they had... Uh, like, if he leaves him standing up, though, and, you know, like, if he doesn't fall... They just look weird, you know. They look weird. So, uh, like that's why I just leave him. That's why I just leave him at, as like your normal shoulder pads, you know. And it, you know, and if you haven't noticed, this figure's been trying to fall, and, and like I've been keeping it up because for one, no heels. Two, big back, big backpack. This thing cannot stand up unless you get some pose where it can stand up. It can, it basically cannot stand on its own uh, unless you get it in, in some position where it can stand. Like that. Plus, apparently a weird thing with the arms is how, like, this arm, uh, you can leave a normal kind of split from the body. But here, it like, if you try to do that, like, it just... It's like the ball joint here is segmented, so so if I want the arm to go even slightly out, I have to leave it like this, which looks a little bit off. So you know, but eh, it is what it, what, what it is. Well, when it comes to well, when it comes to your articulation, it's you know standard, like you know mid to around twenty tens. Oh, articulation, you know, a head is on a swivel, not a ball joint, because of, because of the fact that it's, you know, spring-loaded, so it's better if it's that. Uh, arms are, are on ball joints, as I have mentioned, like, like, like they can go out this far, uh, out this far, back, out that far, uh, uh there's apparently... Oh, not apparently. Uh, there is a double hinge joint on the elbows for uh, for maximum bend. There is a a. Well, there is supposed to be a waist swivel here. Oh, yeah, there is. You know, uh, uh, the reason why it's kind of locked in place is because the backpack here. So that's why. Uh, legs can go out this far. Legs can go back that far. You know, decent split. Uh, there's thigh swivel of uh, an admittedly very tight knee joint uh, and it can go slightly above 90 uh, there is a pretty decent rocker here and, and and I guess near maximum toe down I guess and that's about it for articulation when it comes to accessories I like if you haven't heard this is a mech tech figure, so he comes with, uh, with his mech tech weapon. It's a gun, but now it's now an axe. Such a surprise. Oh, uh, like you can, you know, a uh, plug augment his hands, uh, these ports here on his forearms, and, and also apparently uh, he has no, you know, wrist swivel. I do not know why there's no wrist swivel. You know, he can have a wrist swivel here. Here, there's nothing really blocking it, and and I just realized, you know, a bicep ro bicep rotation, but but there's no use of it. I like there's also a peg here on the shoulders for the gun, and that's about it for the weapon. Uh, there's some light piping back here. It doesn't do all of that much, but uh, but at least well in person at least I like the eyes are at least somewhat visible. But and. But, but anyways, when it comes to size comparison, here he is, oh, 
the only other max set figure I have. Bum booby. And they clearly don't scale well, but that doesn't matter. And here he is with with the only other current prime that I have. Oh, let's get at this prime and to vehicle mode. And here we have Optimus in his truck mode. And let me just say, are these Mac Tech figures vehicle modes are flawless. A Bumblebee's vehicle mode was pretty good. Prime is basically, you know, a micro masterpiece. You know. But, and now clearly, you know, th this shows off that, yeah, this uh, this design is from Dark of the Moon. Because, like, that yellow to red gradients, but, you know, what? Oh, whatever, it's still the same truck. Uh, when it comes to cable, you know, there really is none, you know, there's nothing m much down here, you know, it's just base of a truck. And here it's like, sure, you, you can kind of see the feet, but, you know, you you wouldn't think it's feet of some big robot, you know. But when it comes to weapon storage, you know, oh, oh, oh look, the gun can, can pack into the shoulder, as shown from earlier. But apparently the gun just cannot peg into here. Oh, like you can fit it in, but you know, it, like it can't be pegged in. Don't know why, you know. Like, it, like it's a typical staple, you know, for uh, like for Optimus. I uh, like to have their weapons pegged in, but you know, it's like why can't it be pegged in here? But yeah, whatever. I like this truck, you know, does roll. I like old trucks should. Yeah. Uh, for, for some size comparisons, here we have Prime with Mactech B. Again, I just did so much scale. Uh, uh, like there's no way a Camaro is nearly the full, is nearly at the height of, a, a, of you know, a slimy truck. And here he is ne next to Prime. I know this one is, I guess, a little bit more well scaled, but. Pr Oh, but this prime is too small as a fit as a fit in the scale of you know Studio Series Prime. But anyways, uh yeah. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, like and subscribe. See you all in the next video.